Hi, so I've called this video fear and fear is to me is false evidence appearing real. Now what's been happening in the last couple of years is we've all been basically, uh, it's, it's like the fear factor has been a huge aspect of my life because that's all other people have spoke about if they're going to get the certain thing or if they'll know it or who has it or everything about it and in the news people can constantly speak about what's in the news and um, most people believe everything they're told and everything that they it's uh, put, put out there in the media and in the news I personally don't watch the news I'm not saying it's not on um, I, I've never been in anybody's house that's came on or at the radio you hear the news on the radio um, if you listen to music um, and get bits of news and other programs that you watch Right, not by choice that I would sit and watch the news. I wouldn't have it on in my house if I could help it. There is times when I've put on, it has put, been put on for whatever, but for maybe um, wanting to see something uh, that I've noticed that I would like to know, and it's I maybe only watch that and then put it back off, or if my dad's up visiting or whatever. Uh, but that's been me for a long, long time. But I've noticed um, the fear factor's been a really, it's like, um, and the fear, if the fear breeds other breeds it's, it's almost as if it grows arms and legs of fear. Um it's it's like um so it's, it's when the people are passing away and it's it's almost as if everybody thinks that they're gonna get it and it's that it's, it's a, I feel as if it's almost programmed into people's minds that this is what's gonna happen to them. And I feel personally um that if if you get it into your mind, you bring it into your body, then then that I feel, I feel as if that's just almost as if you're you're sending the sending the signals out 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 to your out from your body. It's almost like the opposite of gratitude. So it's like um, and it's all it's all it's all the opposite of love. So when you're in a place of love and you you're working from your heart center, it's the opposite. It's well your mind and your heart work in conjunction. But it's, if you bring your awareness down to your heart, you 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 usually if you're making a decision in your life and you you bring this awareness from your heart center down from your 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 mind down to your heart center you usually come with come up with a different answer and many times you maybe um had a, a an argument or a debate with somebody and then you've maybe spoke to another person about it and they'll be like oh no I would do this I would do blah 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 and then you kind of go with it and then you take you take some time out yourself and you sit with that in your heart centre and I bet you nine times out of ten you'll just feel totally different you'll just think no that that's not the right answer that's not the right answer you can't meet fear or um, aggro with aggro or fear with fear um, you can't meet darkness with, with darkness you have to meet it with the light so be the light in the world come from a place of love. If you do take unwell, bring the light into your body. You can say that you're, this isn't your time, you're not ready to leave, to bring tremendous light into your body. Imagine it, sense it, feel it as the angels and your departed loved ones and your guides to, to bring this light into your body. And they will let you know if this is your time to leave or not, but you, you have, you're the person in, in control of all this. You're the person that says when it's time for to go, when you're ready to go. Um, I believe, that's what I believe. Anyway, I'm going to read something from Louise L. Hayes. Well, in fact, I'm going to see what this card does. This is from the Guardian Angel cards first. See what this, uh, this says here. Messenger of thought. You could, yeah, this is amazing. I feel this quite amazing how this all works out. And the white roses are here in this card. And this the white rose is about releasing, um, clearing and cleansing um, and your, your, your shakas and your home, the energy in your home. I love to have white flowers in and around my house. Um, it's, it's releasing um, any negative energies that needs to be released in your home and in your spirit and um, in your body. And this lady is just standing there. She's quite stern looking. She's quite a serious person. She's had a lot to deal with in her life. And sometimes she doesn't always see the funny side of things. And this is here is a new topic of intellectual project is really exciting for you. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully, and you know, you know, you know, we'll meet or 
are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. <laughs> oh, that's not me. <laughs> oh, dear. And this is a uh, page 87 from Louise L. Hay, Meditations to Heal Your Life. Oops, can you see that? And it's fear I am safe. At any moment, we have the opportunity of choosing love or fear. In moments of fear, I remember the sun. It is always shining, even though the clouds may be obscure it, obscure, obscure it for a while. Like the sun, the one infinite power is eternal, is eternally shining its light upon me. Even though clouds of negative thinking may temporarily obscure it, I choose to remember the light. When I feel secure in the light and when fears, the fears come, I choose to see them as passing clouds in the sky and I let them go on their way. I am not my fears. It is safe for me to live without guarding and defending myself all the time. I know that what we do in our hearts is very important. So I begin every day in a silent connection with my heart. And when I feel afraid, I open my heart and let the love dissolve the fear. Oh, how perfect are those words? They're just absolutely perfect. Um, and how true is that? Um, have you ever have you ever just had an, a day, an off day, and you're just you couldn't even maybe even say why you're feeling the way you're feeling, or you've, you've maybe felt as if you had to de defend um, your any decisions you've made in your life, or um, any choices you've made, or why you've done something the way you've done it. I've, I've um, felt as if I've had to do that, do that throughout my life because I've been questioned and questioned and re-questioned because um, I've been really quite different from a very young age. And... Um, I just, I've, I've been challenged quite a lot throughout my life, so I feel like, um, I, I feel like those days are behind me, well I hope they're behind me because I don't, I, I feel as if you don't have to justify yourself to anybody, whatever decisions you make in your life, and why should you, because it's your life to, 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 to make what you make of it, um, but also it's a bit different when you're growing up, it's quite hard when you're a, you're a teenager and you're a child and you're you're around adults and you don't, but I feel that teenage years you, you start to notice the way that you would like your life to be and it's maybe not the way that their, their life is. And I remember being quite, probably quite critical then when I was younger. When I think back, my mum and dad always done the best for us, but when you're a teenager, you're quite, uh, you just say it like it is and, and you're quite hurtful, I feel. And um, I was quite outspoken um, and I probably said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. And um, oh, there's no problem about it. I just, <laughs> I'm a rebel without a cause, as we'll say. Um, and you know, when I look back, I think, my goodness, how hurtful that I've been. It really is. Children and teenagers and that can be quite hurtful with some of the things they say, but they do speak from the heart. They are really honest, sometimes brutally honest. Um, but you know, realise now, gosh, for three children and a dog and several jobs my mum and dad did the best job they could have done a pretty good job is bringing us up I don't think I could do it because now when I think back I always think about other people with loads of children and I don't have I say my husband don't have children although they've all, we've always had our nieces and nephews and great nieces and nephews around us we've always been surrounded by children and we've spent most of our life with children um, and I just thought I really take my heart off to people how um, it's not easy. It really isn't easy. It's it's, but it's also very fun and the best years of your life because when I had my nieces and nephews coming to stay, we did many things and many many fun things. It was absolutely hectic, but we apps we wouldn't change it for for the world because we loved every moment of it. So embrace the love that comes into your life because the love is there. And if you don't feel love, go and go and find it. Go out there and make yourself. Go places, meet people, and speak to people, and you will meet many, many people that are there, are lovely people that are, are full of love, and that's your angel. That's how your angels work. Be engaged to the people. So, thank you very much. Bye bye.